Good evening, everyone. Ward Cornell here. And tonight, the last game on a Saturday night of the season, we're going to have our Stanley Cup predictions and evaluations by three of the Toronto writers who are on the hockey beat all year long. First of all, Fred Cedarberg of the Toronto Telegram, then Rex McLeod, the Globe and Mail, Red Burnett of the Toronto Star. And Fred, I'm going to start with you, and it's a double barrel question. First of all, do you think Detroit will make the fourth playoff position? And if so, what's your evaluation of the Detroit Toronto series? Well, uh, Ward, in the first place, I, uh, I really don't think they can make it. Uh, I think it's asking a little too much from this hockey club, particularly because Gordon Howe tonight, although he has got a goal, looks an, like an awfully tired hockey player. I don't think that they have the legs right now to make it. They have to beat Montreal tomorrow night, win tonight. And on top of that, the New York Rangers must lose their last game. If Rangers can tie, or the Wings have a tie somewhere in their two games, it's all over because of a better goals average in favor of the Rangers. However, if they do get in, I think they'd be tougher for the Leafs than the Rangers would be. I think they're a stronger club in the long run. They do have Mr. Gordon Howe. Uh, if their defense tightened up and with their skating type of hockey club that has given Leafs so much trouble the last two years in the playoffs, uh, I do think that if they make it, they will give Leafs a tougher run than the New York Rangers would, who are lighter and uh, depend pretty well on one line. Now, you say you'd, uh, they'd give the Leafs a tougher time. Do you think, which of those two teams do you think would win that semifinal round? Well, I think that Toronto can beat them. I don't see why Toronto would. Uh, the only thing that would bother me is the loss of Brewer. That might tip the scales, but don't bet on what I say because I called Leafs last year. <laughs> All right, let's move on now to Rex McLeod and uh, have an evaluation of the possibility of the New York-Toronto series. First of all, Rex, do you think they'll make it in the playoffs? And if so, how do you look at that series? I think New York is going to make it all right. I don't think there's any doubt about it. I think uh, uh, it has been suggested they need help, for instance, Detroit losing. But I think, uh, I think New York's going to win their game against uh, Chicago tomorrow night because uh, I can't see that as a particularly uh, tight checking game. I think uh, Bobby Hull of the Hawks will be uh, if he doesn't uh, reach that 50-goal objective tonight, and he hasn't got a goal so far in Montreal, he'll be going tomorrow night. I look for a very loosely uh, played game down there in, uh, in New York with both uh, Bobby Hull and Andy Bathgate going for points. But I think the Rangers will win it. I think uh, over the season, uh, Rangers deserve to be in the playoffs because uh, although they did slump in the second half, they, uh, they certainly... Uh, proven the first half of the schedule that they were a, a team that belonged in the first four and uh, for a while they were in second place. I think they're a pretty fair hockey club, but uh, they are a little thin. They don't have too much in uh, reserve. When they, when they get an injured uh, player or two, they're in trouble. But with Harvey and Bathgate and Prentice and uh, players like that, I, I think they uh, belong in fourth place at least. And Rex, uh, should they meet the Leafs? How do you call that series? I cannot uh, conceive of them uh, beating Leafs in a, in a series, but uh, I'm like Mr. Cedarberg, uh, unlike some of our other colleagues who are 692 uh, right and none wrong. I haven't had any right yet, <laughs> but I, I would uh, pick Leafs to uh, uh, beat Rangers in about, uh, I'd say, five or six games. Mm -hmm. All right, let's move on now to Red Burnett. And Red, we're going to give you a series that is I think a tough one to call, and that's the other semifinal series, Chicago-Montreal. Well, I don't think it's that tough to call, and I could be entirely off base, but I think it's muscle against speed and finesse, and in this case, I'll go for the fancy Dan's Canadians. I think that uh, Plant is the greatest goalkeeper in hockey. I think he's playing at his peak now. I, last year, Montreal had a Plant who was inferior. They had a tired Harvey. They had serious crippling injuries up front, and they had their scoring punch tied up in about four hockey players. This year, they've got 620 goal men. And J.C. Trombley, I think they have the most improved hockey player in the league. Beliveau, if he doesn't get well, it should be terrific because he was supposed to have a sole shoulder separation in Montreal. Got one goal, a tremendous effort, set up three, and played it real tough. Mm -hmm. And uh, their other cripples don't seem to be as seriously injured other than the pocket rocket. They'll miss him, and they'll miss him a lot, but I don't think they'll miss him enough to lose in this series. So you call the Canadians to win that I series. Red, what about the effect of Bobby Hall making his 50 goals or better? Might that be enough to buoy the Hawks up or not? Well, that 
could be a two-headed sword. It could boil them up, and there could be a letdown after the man gets 50 goals. He's been pressing and pressing, and there's been tremendous pressure on him. And if he ties the record or breaks it, I think you, there has to be a little bit of a letdown. Maybe it won't last a series, but I think it certainly will last a couple of games. Also, I think that Chicago been feeding Hull <coughs> for seven or eight games, and this has sort of changed their pattern of play. Mm -hmm. And I think that will have to be straightened out. They'll have to become a, a unit where everybody is trying for goals and not just one man. Mm -hmm. All right, now, gentlemen, before we talk about some other questions, let's put you right in the spot and start back with Fred again. Uh, you think the Leafs are going to be in the final series with Canadians? How do you call the Stanley Cup? Who's going to win it? Well, after listening to Red, I guess I have to call Montreal. Mm -hmm. I, no, I, frankly, I think everything depends with the Leafs on how serious uh, Brewer's injury is as far as the Leaf team is concerned, and Olmstead's injury. Don't, Olmstead might have been old, but they missed him on the ice and they missed him on the bench. If Leafs can make it, no, I still have to go with Montreal. Mm -hmm. Rex? Well, I don't know. I've been uh, traveling with uh, these chaps all season. I don't know whether it sounds right, but I have to agree with them. I, I can't see any team beating Montreal. I, uh, I don't think there's a team in the league that can skate with them, but uh, I made the same uh, statement here a couple of years ago. I think it got me in a little bit of hot water, and I, I hate to think that I'm offending uh, gentlemen like, say, uh, George Imlach of the Leafs or other uh, sensitive people like that, but I think Canadians will win the Stanley Cup. Red? Well, I think it's a question of health. Uh, I think if both teams are healthy, the Canadians have a slight edge in the fact that they have the extra home game. But if they should come out of the Chicago series, and I think they'll come out of it, Croc and the Leafs get back with all their players, they have a chance to win. But I still, I still think that uh, the Canadians have an edge. The Leafs haven't won in Montreal this year, and that's a very important thing. They have to win that. could do it. I think it could be Toronto, but... Uh, but that's a, you're leaving a hang right. right there. That's right. They haven't I'd like won to a ask game in Montreal this year, which is uh, definitely going to mitigate against them doing it in the playoffs. Right now, which of the teams in the NHL do you think is really playing up to its best potential? Right now? Mm -hmm. Boston Bruins. <laughs> <laughs> well, they're certainly, doing, All right. they're certainly doing as well as we expected. <laughs> Uh, all right, was, uh, one other quick question before I tie those up. I'm, uh, the other night when we were in Montreal watching, we were talking about what lines we thought in the league were really performing awfully well as lines. Yes. Uh, what line right now would you pick as the best line that's been going all year long, most effective? Keon, Keon Duff and Armstrong. Mm -hmm. I think it's over the whole season. I haven't seen them play a really bad game when they were all together. Mm -hmm. Rex? I would agree with that, plus any line that uh, Henry Richard happens to center for Canadians. Red? I'll second Rex in that. Mm -hmm. I thought that uh, Bellavo Trombley Russo line looked off yeah, the other. was a cripple, you know. Mm -hmm. I know, yes. They played very well, but that was one game they played well. Mm -hmm. Fine. Thank you very much, gentlemen, for your predictions. And in just a moment, Bill Hewitt in the play-by-play -play of the third period. 